Hello besties, this week we are doing a tutorial on how to apply UV DTF decals. But before then, let me welcome you to our YouTube channel and make sure you follow us on all social media platforms under Misfit Makers and click that subscribe button so you will be notified of any new content. Make sure to check out our website and our Patreon as well. Okay, let me get started. These are the little mugs I will be using. I got this at Sweary Kim's Tumblr, Blanks, and more, as well as the UV DTFs that we'll be using today. These are like double walled glass and they have a plastic lid. I think I'm going to use the pink lid on the green lid and the green cup and the pink the green one on the pink one. Okay, so how I prep my tumblers, all I do is clean them off with alcohol. As you saw, not tequila, okay? It's alcohol. Um, make sure you clean it off really well. Make sure to get all your fingerprints, griminess off of it, anything that's going to or could repel the UV DTFs. You want to make sure your surfaces are super, super clean. So make sure it dries thoroughly and then you're gonna be ready to go it's that easy so of course the hardest part is picking out which uv dtfs to use because there's so many and they're so cute and of course you just want to save the best for the best occasion but also use the best because you really want them and so anyway so i picked out these two and i'm going to use them on my pink and my green so my little melting smiley faces i'm going to use on the pink one and i didn't show on this one but i'll show on the next one that basically your decals are sandwiched in into a carrier sheet and then a protectant sheet so you want to peel off the protected sheet and just reveal your carrier and then you're going to want to line it up and then slowly peel off the carrier sheet if you notice in the back i'm slowly peeling it off kind of like a wrap and then you want to slowly peel that off and then apply pressure on your decals so here you see me applying pressure after that you want to slowly start peeling off the top protected sheet it also has sticky to it so you're going to want to go slow so you do not leave any of that sticky residue behind. If you do have sticky residue behind, you can wipe it off with alcohol very carefully. But usually if you go slow, you won't get any of that stickiness. So I am slowly removing the top carrier. You want to make sure before you get to the step that you apply pressure to all your decals and after you remove it all you have left is the decal and look how pretty it looks so pretty okay now we're gonna do the second one on this one um, you can decide whether here I'm trying to decide if I'm going to apply it into pieces or as a wrap um, if your if your cup is shorter than your actual wrap then you want to make sure you cut it so it fits and it doesn't go out of the parameters. So here I decided, oh, I got this. I think I could do it. So I decided to apply it as a wrap. But if you're not confident, you could always apply it into pieces. So here I am showing how you peel off that back carrier sheet and then you pull it back, line it up where you want it on your cup here. And let me tell you, once you apply these, you cannot unstick them. So you've got to be sure where you're going to apply. Because once you put it down, ain't no coming back other than to rip it apart and having to start all over again and cleaning off your cup. Some people clean it off with Goo Gone or clean it off with alcohol or soak your cup. So here we go. Thankfully, it came went on smoothly and straight. But like I said, one and done. You've got to be sure that you're sure. So after that, you want to apply pressure either using a felt squeegee or using your fingertips and applying pressure so all your decals are adhered to your cup. Then again, you want to slowly peel off that top carrier sheet very slowly so you don't rip any spots that you may have not applied enough pressure that way you can tell like if you didn't apply you want to peel it back up and then apply more pressure and then start peeling it back out again 
So here I am, very slow. This is in real time. You wanna make sure you take your time so you don't rip your decals. But look how vibrant and beautiful this is. Easy peasy. Okay, so I'm gonna go extra and I'm gonna go ahead and rhinestone my lids. Now that my tumbler is done, like I said, it is easy peasy. You do not have to seal them. You do not have to do anything else other than be done with it. You don't have to epoxy them. You don't have to do nothing. They are permanent. Okay, so um, I've done this many times, but really quickly, I'm gonna sand my lid here just to give it so, a nice abrasive uh, lid so, I can, so my glue will stick. I'm using Liquid Fusion. I'm using 20 SS rhinestones from CCDIY. And of course, I'm using my favorite pickup tool, which is the Katana. I'm gonna use this um, disposable lip gloss applicator to apply my glitter, I mean my glitter, my glue, and then slowly gonna make my way around. I'm gonna start off with my outer edge. Um, if I were to do this again, I'd like to try to do the scattered method just because um, I didn't think about it, but my, my, my circle for my straw circle hole is offset. It's not right in the middle. So it's going to get a little wonky as I work my way towards the middle. And you'll see what I mean. Um, so you may have to use like little, if you have like bigger gaps, you may have to use like a smaller stone of the same thing to kind of fill up any gaps, which I did towards the center. And out you, once we get there, you will see how, what I'm talking about. See how the circle got a little wonky there and I got some little odd gaps. This is just for me or it's gonna be a gift for a family friend, so I'm not super concerned. But if you are going to sell these, obviously you want to put your best work forth. So I would actually start with my straw circle and then work my way out or do the scattered method and that way I can have more, um, more options to fill up my gaps. But as you see, as I finish this, once it's completed, you won't not even see the gaps. It looks really good and I would totally buy this and be completely satisfied with it. But I know some of y'all like to have all those little gaps covered and that is completely okay. You can do the scattered method or use smaller stones. I use 20 SS in the color luminous rose and it was perfect for this lid. If your lid needs to be painted, you could absolutely do that if you have a different color in mind. But of course, I wanted my lid to be pink. So here they are completed. Like I said, you do not have to seal these. These are ready to go. After your stones dry up and everything is cured, you are ready to use these. These, of course, are hand wash only, but these decals will last you forever and ever. I hope this tutorial inspired you to try your own and hopefully it gave you more confidence in using these very new and cool uvdtf decals thank you so much for our patreons for your continued support and all our besties that continue to support us make sure to click that subscribe and follow so you'll be notified of any new content see you guys next week